This prisoner is preparing to break out of prison, he pulled a thin thread out of his mouth and stretched it longer and longer, which was disgusting to watch. He pulled a packet of white objects from his gut, containing a match and a small can of gasoline. Another prisoner on death row also pulled a steel needle out of his hand and used it to unlock his handcuffs. The captive boss, Cyrus, gave a wink to his subordinate. He then spilled the gasoline on the prisoner next to him, lit a match, and threw it over. At that moment, the correctional officers rushed in. In the confusion, he stole the key from the guard. Then he opened the gates and released the two condemned prisoners. Cyrus went to the cockpit first and killed the co-pilot who rushed out. Then he took control of the captain and threatened him to send a false message to the ground. He was saying that everything was in order and that he would arrive at his destination on time. The only gun on the plane was in Seller's hands, and the aircraft was entirely under his control. This plane was meant to be an air prison to transfer prisoners. It holds some of the most violent and violent felons in America. The leader is this Cyrus. A highly intelligent death row inmate who has done everything from kidnapping to murder to robbery. At 39, he had already served 25 years in prison, and there was a very unlucky man on this plane. He was released from prison today and took this flight because he was on his way. His name is Boone, and he's a soldier who came home from the army eight years ago. He had just been with his pregnant wife when three thugs harassed him. He was first beaten, defended himself, and died due to overdefense. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison for manslaughter. He was a soldier but didn't give up and studied in prison daily. He hopes to be released from prison soon and reunite with his wife and daughter. Finally, on his daughter's 8th birthday, he was released from prison and took this flight. He could have been free and reunited with his wife during the transit, but the plan was not as planned. But this group of criminals hijacked the plane. It's not like he didn't have a chance to escape. Cyrus stopped the plane at the midfield for a transfer, as the prison had initially been arranged. There will be down six prisoners and then ten new prisoners. And Boone is one of the lower prisoners. But one of the upper-level inmates on the list was the son of a Vietnamese drug lord. It turns out that Sellers made a deal with the drug lord before he got on the plane. If his son were picked up on the plane and delivered to the agreed location, he would get millions of dollars. From then on, he could live happily ever after. But just as the plane was about to land, Boone asked to stay behind. Because his good friend was on the plane, Boone wanted to take him with him. The plane landed on time, and police officers were waiting there. These men changed into correctional officers' costumes, pretended to be guards, and gagged the prisoners. They put on hoods and escorted them off the plane, then waited for the exchange prisoners to get on the plane. And who would have thought that among the new prisoners was a monster? He had to be tied up and gagged to hold him. He is a murderous maniac nicknamed the Butcher. His murderous methods were horrific, but he was taken to the plane and released. The guard carefully removed his mask. Butcher recognized this as a fake correctional officer. It turns out that prisoners have long controlled this air prison. Only then did the airport police discover that all the prisoners were escorted down were prison guards. The police immediately used GPS to track the location of the prisoners and sent military helicopters ready to shoot down on the spot. But these highly intelligent prisoners had already dismantled the GPS on the plane. They used the prisoner exchange time to install the GPS on another plane. And Boone tried to use the plane's tapes to send a distress signal to the police but unfortunately failed. At this point, the plane's instrument panel showed that the wheels were stuck, which would slow down the speed of the flight. O'Day then asked Boone to go to the cabin to check the repair. They opened the pressure plate cabin, and they found a body. It turned out that the prisoner had transferred the GPS, missed the plane, and was stuck in the wheel. Then Boone took advantage of O'Day's inattention and wrote the name of a police detective and the destination of the upcoming flight on the body. Then he threw off the plane. A detective from the air prison received the message and found that the body was dropped in the opposite direction of the helicopter's tracking. He immediately informed the helicopter to turn around and go to the airport. Linda. Written on the body, the sergeant on the helicopter was a stubborn older man who only believed in GPS signals. So he hung up the phone, and it wasn't until he caught up with the enemy plane that he realized he had been tricked. Without the support of the police, the police detective had to drive himself to chase. He arrived at the airport but found the airport tower was empty. The hijacked plane was ready to land, but because there was no ground command of the tower, the plane hit hundreds of meters before stopping, and Cyrus got off the plane and did not look at the receiving plane. The drug lord's son rushed to explain that he would be there, but Cyrus, in case, ordered everyone to pull the plane out first and prepare in advance, and the plane Boone has diabetes and must be renewed with insulin. Boone had to jump off the plane to find a medical kit quickly, but in the search for something, suddenly attacked by people, it turned out that a drug lord sent the group. 
The drug lord only wanted to pick up his son and not deal with Cyrus, so they hid the plane here. At this critical moment, the police detective with a gun appeared. The two of them worked together to take them out. The detective guesses it was Boone who sent him the information. They say help is on the way. But Boone said he had to go back and find insulin for the inmates on the plane. And unbeknownst to them, another man is hiding in the plane. The prisoners pull the plane with their bare hands. And if they don't get it out, they're done for. Because the police are on their way. And then one of the prisoners quit and threw down the rope and ran to the warehouse. Because someone was inside to meet him. He tried to escape alone and was about to take off when the police detective spotted him. To stop him, the police detective used the tower crane to smash the plane directly. The plane was split in half and went straight into the gas station. The noise was so loud that the inmates were attracted to it. That's when Cyrus realized the drug lord had gotten the best of him. The drug lord's son kept begging for mercy, but it didn't help. While the ground was covered with gasoline, Sellers grabbed a cigarette and flicked it. On the other side, the police were about to arrive, but Sellers didn't panic. He used the cans to make a strategic deployment. He had the prisoners hide the gas cans on the way into the airport. Then he opened all the valves and had the others hide in the shadows with guns. As soon as the police arrived, they opened fire. This they disrupted the police formation, and then the two sides began to fight. The scene of gunfire. At this time, Boone also found insulin. He tied the rope to a post when he returned to rescue his cellmates, just in case the prisoners took the plane away. The inmates had already boarded the plane, and the prisoners used their rifles to smash the pillars. The plane still managed to take off. Although Boone used insulin to save his teammates' life, but his action of tethering the plane was suspected by Seller. Not only that, but Diamond Dog also found Cage's release certificate. No wonder there were police officers following him all the way. So Cyrus pointed his gun at the female correctional officer, trying to force Boone to reveal his foot. But Boone was about to get up, and his cellmates stood up to protect him and block the bullet for him. Just then, the police helicopter finally arrived. They directly surrounded the air prison, and both sides engaged in a firefight in the air. Because the death of his cellmate filled Boone's heart with anger, he began to fight back frantically. He didn't even dodge the bullets and went straight to the cockpit. He took control of the plane, but unfortunately, the plane's engine suddenly lost power. He had to land in this busy neighborhood. The plane raced across the road and eventually stopped at a casino. The police also arrested all the prisoners on the plane, but Cyrus sneaked out from the bottom of the warehouse when no one was looking, and she then jumped into the fire truck, ready to escape. But this scene was seen by Boone and the police detective. The two rushed to chase after him on a motorcycle. Boone jumped on the fire truck and handcuffed Cyrus on the roof of the ladder. As the ladder rose in mid-air, Cyrus was thrown directly onto the catwalk. Then he fell on a conveyor belt. He was transported to the bottom of a pile driver and chopped into meat. After nine deaths, the battle was finally over. Boone and the police detective also formed a deep friendship. At the same time, he also saw his wife and the woman he had not seen for eight years. The family is finally complete. Hugging each other tightly. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.